G'day, I'm Josh, the ore specialist, and in this video we're having a look and a speed test, a comparison with the iPhone 6S Plus on the left and the iPhone 6 here on the right. Again, the iPhone 6S Plus rocking uh, Apple's new A9 chip and the iPhone 6 rocking uh, the previous A8 uh, chip. Uh, this now has 2 gig of RAM, this now has 1 gig of RAM. They've both been updated to the latest version of iOS 9. Here we are and we're ready for a boot test. These have been freshly turned off um, and we're both going to turn them on at the same time and we'll see which one is quicker. Okay, so the iPhone 6 screen did come on earlier but they were both pressed at the same time. And we'll just wait for a bit here. We'll see which one boots up first. As you can see the iPhone 6 Plus has already had its screen go dark. They've both gone dark now. Still going through the boot process. Again, a fresh boot. Um, and the only difference, obviously, is just the screen size. Um, there we go. We have a win for the iPhone 6S. I think the iPhone 6S booted up there probably roughly. Um, I can show that in the video. You'll be able to see it. So let's just um, click and see which one's going to be quicker here. Obviously, they want us to do password. So we go to the start screen there, or your home screen. As you can see, both these phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and are the same backup. Uh, but just for speed's sake and just for another test, we should test the speed of Touch ID, which has been vastly improved with the 6S Plus. So here we go on both phones. Now that was pretty quick for both of these. We'll do it one more time. We'll just hold our fingers down quickly. And again, that time, the iPhone 6S um, was able to get my fingerprint without even having to hold my finger down. So it is vastly improved the speed uh, of the iPhone 6S. Now we have brightness all the way up on both phones here, so make sure you guys can see it. Again, it's quite quick. The animations on both phones are pretty quick. So in everyday use, you probably won't be able to tell. Um, but let's get into it. Now first off we're going to run the Geekbench 3 test. Again both phones outlying it to you right here. You've got the iPhone model 8.2 or 8.2 and model um, iPhone 6 or iPhone 7.2 which are the respective model numbers. Both running iOS 9.0.2. Um, the processor in this one is the A9. Uh, not yet listed on Geekbench, but it's running at 1.81 gigahertz, and the Apple A8 is in the iPhone 6 with 1.4 gigahertz. Again, as you can see here, the amount of memory is laid out front and center, 1.94 gigabytes as opposed to 989. So that'll help a lot in Safari uh, and background apps being able to stay open more longer in the iPhone 6s. So let's run the processor benchmark. Again, it's checking, um, compressing uh, JPEGs, various image files, um, and, and running background uh, checks on the processor. Time elapsed so far, 15 seconds, or 15 milliseconds rather. As you can see, the iPhone 6S has already finished with a single core score of 2,476 and a multi-core score of 4,352. Now the iPhone 6 has just finished, just lagging behind, but this is a massive jump and a massive difference, uh, which you'll definitely see in gaming and multitasking on the iPhone 6, but you might not necessarily notice in everyday use. So the iPhone 6 there has got a strong um, 1,620 multi-score score of uh, 2,914, but that is strong, but nowhere near as good as the iPhone 6s. Um, so if you're into your gaming and your multitasking, being a power user of these phones, the 6S, you're definitely going to see an improvement if you upgrade to them. Um, then we go home now on both, and we'll run. Um, oh, that's about it there. And now let's run our 3D Mark test for both phones here, which tests its graphics performance. If we can, yep, run. So this runs through, uh, and puts its paces, puts the device for its paces in a graphics test. And it's still even loading on this iPhone 6. So this is a good example of, again, this is this is live. I'm not stopping or cutting the video. 
finally it's come up, finally it's loaded, um, it's ready to run. So we'll let that run now on the iPhone 6 as well. Again, I'll try and make this video as um, straight to the point as possible, but again, I'm just showing you just how quick the iPhone 6S is, as apart from the 6, just even loading the app in the background to try and test it. Um, is one of those things you can definitely tell a difference, and you'll tell a difference in gaming and multitasking, as I've said. So I'll let this run. As you can see, it's flicking through the different screens here and running the background um, uh, graphics performance test. So here we go. The iPhone 6S is now finished with a total result of uh, 26,848 as a total score. Uh, as you can see here, it's uh, comparison in an overall result um, version. We've got 39.4 frames per second in our physics test, uh, 215 frames per second in our graphics test 1, and 146.9 frames per second in the graphics test 2. So really, really quick on a 1080p display. You can expect this phone to perform um, uh, you know, amongst other of the others um, smartphones out there at the moment, really at the top of the top of its game. Okay, so we've got the iPhone 6 is just finished now, and it's got a total score of one seventeen thousand two hundred and six. So that is a massive difference, a really big difference, and you will definitely notice that uh, when gaming. Uh, and it's frames per second as a comparison. It's only got one hundred twenty one frames per second, which is still for a phone really awesome. Um, graphics test two, again. The iPhone 6 lagging behind at 85. Graphics test, uh, physics test, we've got 28 frames a second as opposed to 39. So it's really, um, you know, outclassed itself now with this um, 2015 version of the iPhone 6 being the success to the Octang test. And now this tests JavaScript performance in the browser. And this is the bit where you'll definitely notice, um, you know, how quick you are when browsing on the internet on these phones. So we run this quickly, and again, obviously running quite slow, but it's going running all that background information, ready to start. Now I'll wait for this one to to load up, and then we'll start the test. Okay, so here we go. So this is a JavaScript JavaScript performance test. Runs in the background. Um, it just tests the capabilities of the browser and how fast it can process um, multiple elements on a web page, uh, which is something that is very important. Uh, when you're going onto large websites that run JavaScript uh, and add elements that um, enhance your experience on the web page. So as you can see here, it's iPhone 6S and iPhone 6. Um, very close, very, very close in running the test. Almost done here. Going through its uh, core language features, bit and math operations. Display latency and mandrels. Here we go, and it's now completed. So the Octane score on the iPhone 6s, a whopping 15,877, and the iPhone 6, only 8,818. So that really, putting it down into layman's terms, you're getting a performance boost in the browser. Web pages should technically load more quickly, uh, and elements, special elements on web pages, would definitely load more e uh, quickly and more easily. Now we'll do the GFX Metal benchmark. Now this is a gaming benchmark which tests um, mainly the frame rate and also tests the, the, f the phone's uh, access to the Metal API which is an API for developers that enables developers um, quick access to the GPU without any overheads. Uh, so this is new and it was introduced with the iPhone 6 um, and 5S I believe with the 64-bit processor. Uh, this Metal technology and enabling gaming to be um, a lot more powerful and giving developers a lot more control over games. So I've got a few selected here, just the Manhattan, the T-Rex, and the Fill Test, which tex uh, tests uh, textures. And uh, let's get this underway right now. Let's get it started. Again, this has been um, engineered, uh, these apps uh, converted uh, specifically for Metal. So this tests the Metal framework, the API, um, again, it's already running on the iPhone 6S. Finally, now the iPhone 6 is now running it. As you can see, it's going through different lights, different colours, um, like a gaming environment, loading these things in real time um, and forcing the phone to uh, power up um, and uh, increase its uh, RAM and GPU and CPU usage to run these games. So it's looking very impressive so far. Obviously, the iPhone 6S is... Uh, ahead of the iPhone 6, 
uh, it's running quite fast and quickly. Again, it's showing a helicopter fight scene um, with a, yeah, a boss level, um, obviously, just emulating uh, a game environment um, that you could possibly be playing on an iPhone. And then uh, it'll give us a uh, uh, frames per second at the very end of the video. So I think that'll be almost done uh, shortly. Again, it's just running through this chase scene with the T-Rex, um, which is the benchmark. Okay, it looks like the iPhone 6S has completed, and it's going to show us its results. So it's high-level tests. The two games that I run, which just gives you a, uh, you know, a, a brief overview, an idea of how quick this thing can run games. Uh, it averaged uh, 40.2 frames per second in the Manhattan test and 59.7 frames per second in the T-Rex test. Uh, its final score for the uh, texturing performance and rendering was uh, 6,840. Um, and the two, two title scores there, 2,491 for the first, and the T-Rex, uh, 3,342. Now for over this side here with the iPhone 6, for the Manhattan, the total score we got here was uh, 2,188, with uh, only frames per second of 35.3. For the T-Rex, we had a frames per second 53.1, and the fill rendering texture test uh, 3,484 as opposed to 6,640, so double the uh, performance in running these games. Now, I'll quickly, just run the speed test on both phones here. Now, this they're both both these phones are connected to the same network, uh, so we'll run them separately just so we get an idea of um, how fast we can run these. Okay, just testing the ping now. We had a 33 millisecond ping, and we've got 2.8 uh, megabit per second download speeds uh, on this very uh, congested Wi-Fi network, which is a real use case scenario um, for uh, for many people with with iPhones, with phones in particular, on a uh, busy network. So it did well there, 2.86 megabits per second on a really uh, busy busy network um, here in Australia and an upload speed of uh, around 80 megabits per second there. Okay, so we'll begin the test here on the iPhone 6 and get that out of the way as well. Again, this is trying to give you a, a real world uh, example of, of the tests. Okay, so the ping here, 29 milli milliseconds. So pretty relative to the iPhone 6S, pretty much the same speeds we're getting on both. A little bit less of download, um, on this we had 2.86 in a busy network and we're getting uh, 2.2 megabits per second uh, on the same network so again that's the little difference that you get there with the improved hardware um, and the improved capabilities of the iPhone 6s so we now just look at the upload speed which is averaging about 80 megabits per second same server down in Sydney so there you have it that was the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6s speed test uh, please like this video, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, and uh, like us on Facebook. Thanks guys for watching, see you later.